Hi everyone, in this video we will be discussing the problem longest subarray with sum divisible by k. So basically we have to find the longest subarray whose sum is divisible by k. So we will be given an array containing of n integers and we will also be given another integer k. We have to find the length of the longest subarray whose sum is divisible by k. Now when is the sum divisible by k? So suppose that if I have been given k as 7. Okay, and the sum of a particular subarray is what? It is 24. So, will that subarray be divisible by k, that is 7? No, because the remainder doesn't come out to be 0. Suppose that for a particular subarray, the sum comes out to be 21 and the k value is 7. So, yes, that subarray sum would be divisible. Now, what is a subarray? Subarray is basically, suppose that if we have a array here, so subarray is basically what? Subarray is basically a contiguous region. Subarray is basically a contiguous region of an array, okay, where we include all the elements from here to here and suppose it has a particular sum, then that sum should be divisible by k as well as at the same time what should happen is that uh, it should have the longest length. So there can be couple of scenarios here. What can be the scenarios? One of the scenarios can be that the maximum length subarray, okay, maximum length subarray uh, that is divisible by k, okay, it lies in the middle okay lies in the mid uh, somewhere in the middle it is lying okay or what can happen is then in that case we need to determine the length of those subarrays differently so if there are subarrays who which are having some that is divisible by k then for those subarrays we need to find their length in a different way but there can be another type of subarray where suppose that we have this array okay and our subarray looks like what let's say our subarray uh, starts from here and it ends here right so if our subarray is starting from here ending here and this is the sum uh, so if it starts from the starting point and it is ending here at the ith point then from the 0th index if it is starting and it is ending at the ith index then the length of that uh, and this sum of the subarray that i'm highlighting with the red re region if it is divisible by k completely okay then the length of this subarray would be what i plus 1 why? Because from 0th index till the ith index, the number of elements would be i plus 1. Okay, so that will be the length as well. So this will be very easily to identify i plus 1 length. But in case if we are getting middle uh, subarrays in the middle that are having some divisible by k, then we need to identify for them as well. So what can we do? Right. So uh, if the sum itself is divisible, if so far from the starting the sum is divisible by k, then we can say that the length would be i plus 1. But in between, if there is a particular sum let's say as s dash that is divisible by k okay then we need to identify how we can do it so let us quickly try and dry run the first sample test case that has been given to us okay so we have been given the n value as 6 so suppose that we are given 6 elements so let me write all the details here uh, so suppose that n value has been given to you as 6 and then you have been given what k value has been given as 3 so you you want the subarray sums to be divisible by 3 Okay, then what we have been given is you, uh, we have been given 2, then 7, then what we have been given is, we have been given 6, then 1, and then 4, and then 3. Suppose this is the array that we are given here. Okay, so if this is the array that we are given here, uh, let me write this. Now, if I will take the sum, so let's say if I have a sum variable, so what can you observe here, right? So, k value has been given as 3. So, the sum till here will be how much? The sum till here will be 2. And I will also keep a track of the remainder. So, the remainder will be the sum modulus with k. So, the remainder will come out to be how much? The remainder will come out to be 2. Now, the sum will come out to be how much? The sum will be 9 here. Because uh, 2 was the sum already. Now, we have added 9 as well. So, the sum becomes how much? The sum becomes total 9. 2 plus 7 is 9 here. Now, the remainder comes out to be 0. Once, if the remainder comes out to be 0, uh, okay, then we can say that uh, till this ith index. So, let me do the indexing 0, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. So we can say that if the i, I index at i is equal to 1 index, the remainder is becoming 0. So i plus 1 will be the length as I've already, already discussed. So the maximum instead of being 0, now it will become i plus 1, that is 2. Okay. Then after that, when I go to the next element, so what's the next element? The next element is basically 6. So when the next element is 6, then what we can do here? So since the next element is uh, coming out to be 6, so the sum will become how much? The sum will become 15 and it is also divisible. So now since it is divisible, so we can simply say that since the remainder is coming out to be 0, so the, now the length will be 3 because i plus 1 would be the length. Then after that, go to the next element that is uh, 7, 6. Okay. And when we go to uh, 7, 6, 1, 
okay so now when so up till now the maximum length has been three now when we go to seven six one then what happens like when we go to one so now the sum becomes what here let me just erase and write here so the sum becomes basically how much the sum will become nothing but 16 here at this point the sum will become 16 now when the sum becomes 16 then the remainder will be how much the remainder comes out to be one okay fine after that when i go to the next element uh, so the remainder is not zero so i'll move forward now when i go to the next element that is 20 so the remainder will come out to be how much 20 modulus with 3 because the k value is 3 will come out to be how much it will come out to be 2 can you observe one thing can you observe one thing one thing that you can observe is very clearly that this sub array this particular sub array you can see that the remainder that was 6 and the remainder that is 2 okay so this the remainder 2 is repeating again you can see the remainder 2 was occurring at the 0th index okay now the remainder 2 is also occurring at the index 4 at the index 4 also it is occurring so what does this mean that currently at i is equal to 4 also that same remainder is occurring and at i is equal to 0 also same remainder was there now if you will see so see the element 7 6 1 4 so what is 7 plus 6 plus 1 plus 4 this is nothing but 18 which is which is a sum that is divisible by k so you can see that if the remainder is repeating then in such a case the length of the sub array would be what the current index i minus the map of sum so minus inside the map whichever at whichever index you found that sum uh, you found that remainder for the first time so i minus mp dot get 2 so i index is 4 4 minus uh, 2 so where at which index you got uh, the remainder 2 first so you got the remainder 2 first at the 0th index so 4 minus 2 would be 4 and this length is 4 so that is why the maximum length would get updated as 4 this is what we need to do that if a remainder is coming for the first time then you store its index inside the map index of its occurrence if it is already existing inside the map then the length of the sub array internal sub array which is having sum divisible by k that will be nothing but uh, i minus mp dot get that particular remainder okay because that remainder is repeating at the ith index as well as the index that is already stored inside the map so the length would be i minus mp dot get map yeah map dot get uh, that sum okay let's quickly try and write the code for this problem and see how we can uh, approach it further so basically what i'll be doing here is first of all like since i have to solve this problem so first of all i'll declare a maximum length as zero okay then i also need a map so let me declare a map unordered map and let me name it as int comma int now after that uh what I will do is I will have a sum variable as well. So sum let's say as zero, then uh, what I will do is I will start my iteration. So for int i starts from zero, i is less than n, i plus plus. Now what you will do is inside the sum, you will add the ith character. Okay. Once you have added the ith character inside the sum, then what is the next thing that you need to do? Once you have added the ith character inside the sum, then after that, you will take out the remainder. So you can say that the remainder will be what? Also one more thing since we are given negative elements okay since we are given negative elements so it might happen that the remainder might start coming out to be negative okay so for that if the remainder becomes negative then we can add k to it in order to make the remainder as positive because for negative element the remainder might become negative okay so what we are going to do is we are going to take the remainder as nothing but the sum so far modulo with k and then i will check if the remainder becomes equal equal to zero if the remainder is zero so this means the length length would be how much mx would be the maximum of the maximum length i have seen so far comma i plus one because i plus one would be the length from starting till ith index uh, sub array that is uh, uh, having some uh, divisible by k okay now after this what we will do is we will check that if suppose that the remainder becomes negative why it can become negative because if you are taking the sum of elements and the elements are uh, the elements of the array can be negative so the sum can be negative and because of that the remainder can also become negative so in order to make it positive you can add it with k so remainder plus is equal to k okay that is what we are going to do and once this is done so what i will do is if like if i try to find the remainder inside the map and it gives me map dot end so if i if map does not contain that particular remainder that i've just found out then it is the first occurrence of that remainder so for that remainder i'll i'll indicate that i is the first occurrence of that particular remainder 
else what i will do is else i will simply say that uh, my length will be what the length that i will get is i minus map dot get uh, the remainder so i is the current index that at which this remainder is occurring again and from mp remainder we will get the previous the very first index at which this remainder had occurred this would be the length of the subarray having some divisible by k then after this what you will do is you will say that mx is equal to max of mx comma length that is what we are going to do and then after this at the very end we will return the maximum length that we have stored so let's now try and compile this code to see if it is getting accepted uh, it is working on the samples or not so it works fine on the samples let us try and submit the code as well so you can clearly see that our code was able to pass all the test cases and this problem has been asked in a lot of companies you can see that it has been asked in microsoft and snapdeal and amazon as well so make sure to solve this problem if you have any doubts please make sure to mention those doubts in the comments and uh, thank you for watching this video keep coding guys and comment understood if you have understood the solution thank you